Hey, y'all, it's Chloe's grandpa. Um, I apologize if my dogs are going to bark during this. They're jerks, and that's the way they want to be today. Um, welcome to episode two of Bible Talk. Um, as I said in the little short, I wasn't going to do this. It doesn't... I didn't enjoy doing it the last time. It made me feel super uncomfortable, but... There was a couple comments of people that got something out of it, so, and that is the whole purpose. If I can reach one person, that's what it's all about, right? Regardless of how comfortable it makes me, um, it's just the way God works. Puts us in uncomfortable situations, which is what he does with me sometimes. But... And as soon as I say that, the sun comes out. It's been raining all day. I say that, there comes the sun. All right. Um, I got to say this because I have to. I'm an idiot. I don't really read my Bible the way I should, which is why I started doing this, because it gives me a reason to read my Bible more, if that makes any sense. Um... I have a, it slips my mind if that, it, like, it's, it falls into the one of the Swiss cheese holes. Um, doing this once a week, I have, throughout the week, I study stuff. I pick, I go with something that I struggle with. Um, so it's more for me than it is for you, but if you struggle from it, and you're, uh, you don't go to counseling, you don't go to church necessarily, but you're still a Christian and you're still a believer, and you wonder how somebody else in kind of the same situation you may be in deals with the same situation. Well, today is my biggest problem I have with not only being a Christian, being a human being, it's anger. Anger is something I deal with every day. It's, you drop a pen, you got to bend over and pick it up. And when you bend over and pick it up, you knock something off the table. Then you got to pick that up. And by the time you pick up the third thing that you've knocked over, you're completely irate and ready to throw everything. Or is that just me? Um... So yeah, I'm trying to deal with my anger and the main way I deal with it is I pray. I just stop, take a couple minutes, pray that God just takes it away from me, um, that God lets me forget about it. Now, when I get home, if I've had a really bad day and I can't get it out of my brain, I go to the Bible and... There's one or two Bible verses that, um, they're shorter and I'm trying to remember them, but my brain isn't the greatest, as I said. Um, so I'm going to give you those and then we're going to, I'll tell you how I feel about it because this is just simply because I'm the kind of person that gets angry and then I act on it you know what I mean whether it be swearing I I've been known to be violent not recently it's the old me was but what I've learned is whatever situation you're in your anger may take you over and it may feel so good to just let it out and then there becomes that feeling of regret and what kind of person am I that I yelled and screamed at a 70-year-old woman because she just happened to walk in front of me and I was in a hurry? Or that guy didn't give me the right of way getting off the freeway or on the freeway and it makes me so angry I want to follow him home. That's me. Just saying. So I have a lot of accounts of having to stop and breathe and pray. 
with your eyes open, conscious, because if you're driving, you don't want to just close your eyes and pray. That's just dangerous. Um, now, one of my favorite Bible verses to go to is Psalms or Proverbs 14.29. We'll get to Psalms, but Proverbs 14.29 because it is my favorite. Okay, because it makes me think. All right, Proverbs 14, 29 in my King J James Version, and then I'm going to read it to you in another version just because it, because of the way my mind works. Um, King James Version first. He who is slow to wrath has great understanding. But he who is impulsive exalts folly. Um, yeah. If you're slow to get angry, you have time to think about everything. You know what I mean? Should this even be making me angry? Well, that's, if you're slow to your emotion, if you're slow to give in to that, you give yourself time to think about it if that makes any sense. Um, but he who is impulsive exalts folly. And what that just tells me is if you just act on it, you're a fool. You end up doing stupid things, which you do, which you end up regretting. You know what I mean? It's It says it right here. Now that's the King James Version. And here's the New International Version. Okay, Proverbs 14, 29. Whoever is patient has great understanding, but one who is quick-tempered displays folly. Now, the only reason I wrote, wrote, read both of these, I read the King James Version. The reason I read both of these is because the New International Version seems to put it more into terms that, you know, but you got to think about that. When you're when you get angry, if you think about why you're angry, you know what I mean? If you instead of just acting, just take a second. You ain't even gotta pray, just take a second and okay, say that they cut you off. Well, what does you getting angry and following them and cursing them and flipping the fingers at them and giving them gang signs and all of that? What exactly does that accomplish? Does it make you feel better? It might. Yelling and screaming might make you feel better. Or it might infuriate you more and you're even angrier and then you're just a big old jerk. So you got to think about that. So whoever is patient has great understanding. Think about it. You know what I mean? Don't just fly off the handle. Should you even be angry? Is it worth being angry for? It takes, say it takes five minutes of your time, of your precious day, to be angry. Why? Was it going to make a difference? If you get into a fight and you take all that anger out in a physical way, what's it going to do? Nothing. It's going to put you in jail um, if they have someone in the car, say their kids, their kids get to watch it. If you're not alone, um, whoever you're with gets to watch it on top of the fact. God is watching. God would rather you. Let's put it in back into the King James version. God would rather you be slow to wrath. And understand it. Then be impulsive. And make yourself a fool. Okay. Because at the end of the day. Even with all of that. At the end of the day. We are. As Christians. We might be the only way somebody sees Jesus today. 
Okay, now that guy's come, won't let you in. Do you slow down and just get in and give the right away like you're supposed to? Or that person who's trying to cut you off when they're trying to get on the freeway because they're more important than you are and they don't care and they're not giving way and they need in. How much of your life does it take to just slow down a little bit and let them in? What's it going to hurt you? Are you going to be a second later? Minute? Oh my gosh, dude. You're going to be like a minute later than what you were. Big deal. You're not angry. You don't look like a fool. You're not a fool. Um, Not to mention the fact that your stress levels will be down. Your anxiety will be down. Your blood pressure will be down. And all of that. And even though that person that you let cut you off and you didn't get angry about it and you're even though they don't even care or notice you did you did maybe the guy next to you did you don't know but you know who did and you know he did god we're not here to impress that guy or that guy even we're here to be who God wants us to be. God doesn't want us to be a anger filled, raging bull. He doesn't want us cussing out kids and tripping little old ladies. And you know what I mean? He doesn't want us doing all that. He doesn't want us following people home and heaven forbid you let, you know, you have guns and all of you bring all that into it. And that's a whole different situation. What God wants from us is to love one another. And if you are going to get angry, because it's going to happen, it's human nature, it's the way we are, think about it. Just take time, pray. Pray. You can pray and drive. You're angry? Pray out loud. Scream it. You're in the car. Doesn't matter what's the guy next to you. You're going to look at you funny? Who cares? Is he going to look at you funny when you're flipping off the car? that's going 20 miles an hour faster than you are? Angry, beating on the steering wheel? Is he going to look at you funny then? Just ask it. What do you think? Um, I say, in my own personal experience and how I deal with it, I pray. Um, I, sometimes it doesn't work for me and I, come out like an idiot and I'm an idiot. Um, another way I deal with it on top of praying and reading the Bible, because just that one little verse you can get so much out of, just thinking about it. Just that one little verse, that is my favorite verse to go to when I'm angry and I can't get it out. I read that. I'm trying to memorize it, but it's a slow work in progress. Um, but yeah, like I said, the only thing you should really listen to is this, the words of the Bible, that everything else is just me and my opinion and how I deal with it. Now, if that helps you, I am glad. It makes me very happy if I'm able to help somebody with my rambling idiotness. Is that even a word? Um, but yeah. You get angry, just take that two seconds out of your life that it takes. There's a switch. You got, am I going to get angry or am I going to think about it and not get angry? Am I going to be the better person or am I going to be a fool? I choose to be the better person. What are you going to choose to be? All right, that's about all I got. I feel better about this one than I this episode two than I did the episode one. Thank y'all for tuning in. God loves you, and so do I. I'll see you next time. Bye.